Hey guys, welcome back to our new video and we are back again with uh, another new video and you guys will be learning how to design a really good looking but simple uh, timeline and this timeline you can be use you can use it to display uh, and it has multiple use cases I mean you can use it uh, if you want to show your um, a career timeline or your achievements your educational timeline or maybe even up some timeline of some uh, public celebrity players profiles and m many more so let's get started so we'll be using just uh, html and css uh, and we'll be designing the thing so let's just start it start with html i'll call it timeline i won't be using any third party libraries here I don't need bootstrap, I don't need anything. We'll be doing it in custom CSS and custom HTML. So let me start with H1 and I will name it uh, maybe timeline. Then I'll create a class timeline. Inside class, I will have multiple items and I will call them timeline items. So inside timeline items, we'll have a lot of things. Maybe uh, let's build it for our, you know, career timeline. All right. So this will be the company name where you worked and followed by. Let's not go with H1 here. I've already made H1 here. And by the way, let me uh, inform you. You will, uh, it's better to have only one H1 in one web page, right? So I'll use it as h3 probably and for the h5 i'll write the position or the designation designation all right then i'll have the time that means maybe uh, from 1990 to 1993 something like this obviously not 1990 but let me write it this way and then finally some lorem ipsum this will be the you know summary or the your roles and responsibilities in that job something like that i don't know let's see how it looks okay this is just the plain html so we don't need to worry right now because we will be designing it with the css let me replicate it for number of times okay now it's good now i can start writing the css so what i will do i will start from the body the body and i'll provide a background color of maybe ls blue max width not more than 700 px probably and margin zero auto so that the container sits at the center see this is good now let me move on to the title so i'll call it the title probably h1 with the class title and margin margin 40 px in y direction and zero in the x direction okay makes sense and then what i'll do text line center yeah great now we'll move on to timeline so it will have margin top of one rem maybe that should be enough for this for timeline item timeline item margin left of one rem margin bottom of 2 rem let's see for the timeline items i missed something there i missed the s okay now it's working yeah then what i need is for the timeline items For the timeline items, I will go with border 
let's go with box shadow not border box shadow probably 0 4px 10px rgba Zero zero with opacity of zero point one. Let's see how it looks. Okay, we need to make more adjustments here. So I will do padding of twenty px, background of white, and border radius of zero point five rem. Okay, getting into safe now. And what I need next is. Okay, let's do one thing then. For the timeline, I can add pseudo element here, which will be the before. So before timeline, what I will do, content blank, position absolute. Since this is absolute, let's make it relative. And the position would be left zero, top zero. Height up 100%, width of probably 2px and background let's go with blue and see how it looks see i'm adding a vertical line before the uh, timeline not bad let me change the color then let's go with the random one i don't know how it looks okay this looks good great now what i can do here is for timeline items also i can add pseudo element which will be before and it will have content blank position absolute and similarly this should be position relative so that i can place it here using top zero and left would be minus 1.5 rem Probably width would be 1 REM, height would be 1 REM, and border radius would be 50% with background. Let's go with red for now. Okay, not bad. This is good. Now let me design the thing inside this card, right? So for that, timeline items, H3, color. Let's change the color to this thing. Okay, it's a, a little bit dim color. And margin bottom would be, margin bottom could be 0 0.5 REM. That's not working, we'll check it later on. For the timeline items, H5, I'll change the color for this as well. 7F8 C8D. Okay, I just made it even lighter one, and font size would be 0 0.59 REM. Margin bottom could be 0 0.25 REM. Margin top would be 6x. See, it's getting into some shape now. For the small tag, timeline items, small, color would be 95A5A6, font size 0 0.8 REM, even smaller one, okay, not bad, maybe color should be a bit on the darker side, or is it good, you can change it if you want, no worries. And for timeline P, let's change the color of this as well. Let's see how it looks. This is great. And what we can do, font size is 0 0.9 REM. Margin top would be 0 0.5 REM. And then line height. Line height could be 1.3 REM. Is it too small? I don't think so. This is good, I guess. And after the paragraph tag, maybe we should be enough. Okay, this should be enough. 
let's try to change this font okay so for this one i can use font family monospace this actually doesn't look so good let me see if i can change it to some better one can use any fonts if you want from the google fonts let's see fonts.google.com give me a ball for now and then see what i can use here maybe this could look good get font embed code and then copy code i can paste it over here and then use it like this so i'll use it for the paragraph oh this is not good i guess maybe because of font size uh, but i don't like it let's find a better one Can I go with uh, this one? Let's see. The font. This should look good. We just copy and paste the code and then use font as the robot slab, right? You can copy it from here. okay this isn't bad this is not bad okay actually i can use it for all the content so let me put it on body okay this is not bad see so we have designed a beautiful looking timeline you can still work on it or change the colors and play with the borders or backgrounds to make it look even beautiful this is just a simple demo let me try and change the border color for this one not the blue one let's go with a red shade some shade of red let's pick this color and then try to play with this okay this should be good so for this one it should be this one yeah so this much for today guys hope you enjoyed this video please do comment uh, comment on our video if you want any specific uh, video to be made on we will be happy and we'll get back to you with the video please subscribe us for more interesting and useful videos like this and you already know i have provided a link in the video description below where you can find the source code for all the things that i did here so this much for today Cheers, guys.